It's the summer of 2004. My friends and I have just graduated from high school. I'm not supposed to know, but I am sure of what floats behind that wall and moves so easily. Like My group of friends is so close that sometimes it's hard to see us as individuals. It's just one huge flow. It just seems like such a simple thing that we're friends and that's all, but it's really much more than that. My name is Aubrey Layton. A-U-V-R-I-L-A-Y-T-O-N. H-E-N-R-Y. Dan Ching Nguyen. D-A-N-C-H-I-N-G-U-Y-E-N. My name is Thomas Nelson. T-H-O-M-A-S-N-E-L-S-O-N. My name is Kiana Ford. K-I-E-A-W-A-N-A-F-O-R-D. I think Aubrey Layton is the most kindest person in the world. I, there's no words to describe her really. Aubrey Layton. I am scared, but probably not of the same things that other people are scared of. Just, I'm scared of time, how fast time goes. Well, first of all, Aubrey has been my best friend for a really long time. I mean, I think we've been best friends ever since eighth grade. She's still going to be here, but I'm still going to miss ha um, knowing that I'm going to see her every day. Erin Henry is a really special kid. <laughs> He's just so different from everyone else. Um, I decided to go to the University of Hawaii because they called me, and so I was kind of scouted. On graduation night, there were two parties. There was one funded by a school and the other one that was our personal party and Aaron actually went to the school's party and I don't know I guess he was gonna come to ours but he got lost. I mean I probably shouldn't have even been there so I don't know it kind of reminded me like who I was tied with and who I wasn't. What do I think about Dan Shee Nguyen? Um, well she's a very sweet ambitious benevolent soul. Uh, she's kind of a dork but in a good way. In a good way. She is. Are you? I'm going to school next fall at the University of Rochester, New York. Like seriously, if you ask my best friends, I could name it straight off like, like that. Boom, boom, boom. And it doesn't matter who else is there because I just feel like all the people I need to know that I already know. I've really come to rely on Danchi and her always being there. And the fact that she won't be, I don't know, it's just, it's just going to be really hard on me because I know that she'll probably find other friends and find other people, but I myself don't think I could ever find another Danchi. What do I think about Thomas Nelson? Well, if you read the 2004 Murray High School Literary Magazine, I did call him as today's modern rendition of Adonis. I'm madly in love with Thomas Nelson, <laughs> and I hit on him all the time, and it's really funny because I'll hit on him and I'll be like, Thomas, why do you reject my undying love? And he'll go, yeah, it's like I don't like girls or something. Getting ready to go to the University of Utah in the fall. Thomas Nelson is the one person that's actually still going to stay here with me. I think in a way Thomas is always going to be my security blanket because he's going to be here for as long as I'm going to be here. Kiana Ford <laughs> is my god. I remember Kiana, uh, she sat by, she sat by, me in a digital photography class, and uh, she'd spent most of her time looking at share and seal web pages. Kiana plans to go to school this fall. Um, she might go to the U, she might go to... She doesn't think, I mean, she doesn't know that it's gonna affect us. I mean, she just thinks, oh, I was just one small little second of their lives. But that's not true, because she totally affected all of us. Since we've all graduated from high school now, we all ha have come to realize that we're individuals and we're all gonna have to go our own ways now. It's really strange that I'm gonna have to say goodbye to everyone because I never thought that that would happen. I never thought that we'd be disbanded because I, I mean, when you're in high school, you think that it's gonna last forever and you're always gonna be there. I'm kind of afraid about having to go on without my friends 
beside me, but I had, I think I just had to get over that because being an adult is experiencing new things that, I mean, uncertain things that you're not necessarily going to be ready for.